Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Gypsy with Mahesh. Today I wanted to emphasize again saying the same phrase which I have mentioned in many of my videos. GCP documentation is the king. Uh, the reason why I say this is uh, it could be any material uh, on GCP. It could be a, a, a medium post, it could be a YouTube which I create, it could be another YouTube which somebody else creates or any blog post which people create. For most of them, the source is always the documentation. Uh, so it's so good and if you can understand how to read the documentation, I would say uh, to be very frank, you don't need any other source of material. So today I wanted to show how you can enhance your GCP skills or your knowledge on GCP with the help of an app called as Google Cloud app. Uh, it's not uh, something brand new. It has been existing for a while is my understanding. The only thing is that I explored it a couple of weeks back. So just start off sharing it with you. Let's get started. All right, uh, so today we are not going to show any demonstration or see any demonstration basically. So it's basically on the documentation. So where the documentation starts, it's cloud.google.com. So if you have any doubts or any questions on GCP, what will people usually will do? Uh, they'll just go to Google search and they search for something. Say for example, if I have a doubt on uh, SSD, uh, HDD uh, encryption, if I do it, I just hit this. So if I do it and my context was to search something in GCP, if I have forgotten to search put GCP, I have to again do this part, right? So I have to again search and then only I'll get it. So every time I have to do this and sometimes some of the articles, fortunately this time the first result is on uh, cloud.google.com. Sometimes it may not be on uh, google.com. Say for example, crucial in there's some other article coming in. So there's a chance that if there's any uh, promotion or some, like sponsor links, you may get that. So usually uh, uh, coming from the search background, if you want to get only the results from uh, Google, you can put something like site colon. Something like this is what you can do usually so that the source is always from and you can remove this GCP and you can just search it's going to be only from cloud.google.com. If you search everything, so even if you go to the next page, it's going to be on the same thing. Now, I don't want you to do always these things. So uh, if you are coming from a search background, you can put all those things and do it easily. But instead of that, Google provides you something very easy. So if you just go to cloud.google.com and I have tried only this in Chrome browser, my understanding is it only works in Chrome browser. Please do check if it works in other browser, if it's working good. If not, you can always go back to Chrome browser. So if I just use this, just go to cloud.google.com, I see a, a plus icon. So if I click on this plus icon, it shows, do you want to install this app? What is this app? Basically is Cl Google Cloud app. Basically it does the same thing which we have seen. It puts this filter and you can search whatever you want in related to GCP and you don't need to put every time GCP in the search string. So that's the beauty of this. Let me just install this. And once I install it, I get the same page. Now I simply go and search it. That's it. So I just search for SSD HDD uh, encryption. The same thing which I did. So and it's going to give me suggestion which is only coming from uh, cloud.google.com. So no other sponsored links, no other stuffs. So my focus is only on the documentation. This is going to be really a cool one. And one thing which I figured it out very easily with this app was something. It could be a tip for your cloud architect certification. So what I saw was a very small information which was important if I just look into this documentation this part one sentence so if it is something to do with SSD versus HDD uh, most of the time we focus on the IOPS input output operation so but by exploring the documentation what I understood is um, usually HDDs use uh, advanced encryption standard 128 SSD uses 256 so this was something which I did not explore it, but uh, the documentation was helpful and that to this app was really helpful. I started using it for almost like a week now. I, I really feel it is very comfortable because whenever I put 
I always like to refer to an official documentation. It's so easy. So uh, even if I put something like HDD, it only shows me about uh, the HDD disk in GCP. And if I put HDD somewhere uh, in the, the normal search, it's going to give me n number of results. So my focus is not getting diverted. My focus is always in GCP components, which I wanted to learn. So that's the video which I wanted to share today. Hope you like the video. Thank you for watching.